And welcome to Tropical Weather Update number 7 for June the 1st, 2013. That date is very much upon us at the moment. As of midnight UTC, here's the current situation in the tropics. 90L, Invest 90L in the, uh, in the southern Gulf of Mexico in the Atlantic. And 95W in the western Pacific uh, to the north of Papua New Guinea. That's all that's going on at the moment in the world. Um, 94B dissipating, Barbara is now 90L. Um, and 91E dissipating during May the 31st. Here's the Pacific Ocean then, quiet in the east, uh, quiet in the central part of the Pacific as well, but in the western Pacific we have 95 west at the moment, um, which is currently to the north of the Papua New Guinea-Indonesia border and is likely to uh, move towards the west slowly over the next few days. In the Atlantic Ocean, here we have 90L in the in, in, Invest 90L in the uh, southern Gulf of Mexico in the Bay of Campeche at the moment. Um, and that is likely to um, perhaps move a little bit towards the east or northeast, but not much development is expected at the moment. The Indian Ocean, no invest officially designated, but uh, there is a bit of interesting weather going on. In the central bay of Bengal, you can see there quite a bit of cloud cover. Maybe uh, could form into some sort of tropical disturbance, perhaps, um, in the next few days. We'll have to see about that one. The sea surface temperatures, uh, water temperatures in the eastern Pacific sort of fading a little bit. Um, to around 30 degrees along the Mexican coast. In the Atlantic, 28 degrees quite commonly in the Caribbean and in parts of the Gulf of Mexico as well. Um, and in the Indian Ocean, there's quite a big area of very warm waters off the coast of India now, 32 degrees or perhaps even more um, along some coastal regions of India. And of course, in the South China Sea, is always fairly warm there. Uh, so here we have Invest 90L in the Atlantic, winds of 25 miles per hour its current position 19.5 north 95.3 degrees west um, and to the best that we can come up with here's the track forecast for the next day or two uh, we'll probably have some slow movement of whatever's le left of the invest towards the uh, east or the northeasterly direction you can see here what's left of Barbara as it was uh, which is now invest 90 you can see towards the south um, very close to the coast still, so not much development is expected at the moment. But the models are hinting at some uh, disturbance forming and perhaps striking Florida in a few days' time. Uh, we'll come to that in a moment. Uh, we have Invest 95W as well. You can see uh, clouds associated with that disturbance, uh, perhaps giving a little bit of um, rain or maybe even thunderstorms to uh, Palau, the tiny island in the western Pacific at the moment. Um, apart from that, not too much going on with this storm in terms of development, but all can change fairly quickly in that part of the world. Uh, so let's go to the model forecast. You can see here the CMC developing two systems um, in the Atlantic. One small system off the Bahamas going off to the northeast and another larger system affecting Florida in a few days time perhaps as a strong tropical storm. The CMWF is also picking on this now, picking up on this now rather, um, with the low pressure what looks like Invest 90L uh, will end up developing into that storm that will strike the western coast of Florida in a few days time. The GFS has something fairly similar if a little bit less clear you can see a low pressure system lingering around the Yucatan Peninsula um, and then eventually moving over to Florida. The NavGem isn't really hinting at much at the moment uh, apart from a little bit of low pressure hanging around that region of where 90L is at the moment. So uh, let's take a look at the overall predicted season scores for June the 1st. Of course, nothing forming, so no change in the scores at the moment. You can see here Ken in first, Typhoon Bopa in second, and Theo in third. And then we're tipped o ticked over to June now. So the amount of points available drops ever so slightly, but still don't let that deter you from submitting a prediction. Um, I'm sure there's still a very good chance of winning at this point. There's still quite a lot of skill involved in predicting this early on in the season. Um, and by the end of the season, who knows, you might be the winner by the end of this. Um, no prizes, unfortunately, because I'm not very wealthy, but uh, there you have it. So what happened on this day, June the 1st? Of course, the Atlantic and the Central Pacific uh, starting their official seasons today. In 1977, Tropical Depression 2 dissipated near El Salvador. In 1986, another Depression 2 dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. Um, and plenty of other things. 1988, Tropical Depression 1 moving over Cuba, causing severe flooding and 37 fatalities, as well as a few other things forming an unnamed subtropical storm amongst those in the Atlantic. In 2001, Hurricane Adolf dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 2002, Hurricane Alma dissipated. In 2007, Tropical Storm Barry formed in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and also that same year, Tropical Storm Gonu formed in the North Indian Ocean. And Tropical Storm Arthur dissipated in 2008 on this day, June the 1st. 
And as of the upload time, there's now only 10 seconds until the start of the Atlantic Hurricane season, so stay safe out there this year, and uh, let's hope for some interesting storms that do not affect life and property this year. Thank <laughs> you.